Okay, so on the 22nd, uh, which of, as of recording this is yesterday, I got an early screening of Batman Dark Vengeance, which is Brooks 19 Productions' newest film. And all I got to say is this is an absolutely incredible film. I mean, it's, it is really comparable to, uh, comparable, comparable, I guess. I, I think comparable is a completely different word. Comparable to some of the big budget films, like, you know, The Dark Knight and stuff. And so it was like, whoa, this is, it's a super good plot with an incredible twist. And honestly, if you're like a Matt Reeves fan or a Snyder fan, I 100%, uh, like, you need to see this film. You really got to see this film for yourself. It's absolutely incredible. Um, now, I, I will say the only issues that I have with it, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This isn't a, you know, this isn't like a, a fun little review just to say good things. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, the only issue I have is the stop motion. The stop motion is actually extremely fluid, but it's just because that it is stop motion. It's hard to kind of, you know, show certain emotions and like give off certain vibes because of it being stop motion like in some in one scene it might need to feel extremely dark and gritty because i don't know maybe if somebody is getting brutally murdered by i don't know scarecrow let's just say like hypothetically i don't think scarecrow's in this movie but you know just as an example you know but you can't really do that in stop motion but you know he made it work in a way that it you know fits it fits it, it, again it's still stop motion lego so just you know bear that bear in mind uh, that so you know that's pretty good that he did find a way to work around that but still a good film but you know just certain things with the stop motion stop motion very much limits you to portraying certain things so i'll give him the slide on that but nonetheless like just keep in mind that it isn't going to feel like a high budget film because it's not it's still just Lego, so just, like, don't go in there expecting, like, Matt Reeves-level stuff or Snyder-level stuff or or or, or uh, uh, J.J. Abrams-level stuff. Maybe not J.J. Abrams, but, you know, like, don't go in there expecting, like, something huge and epic. You're just going to get a super good story with super good acting and, like, really, really good acting for a stop-motion film, I must say. Like, the emotions in there were portrayed so freaking well. <laughs> it's incredible, but... Um, you know, like that, you're gonna go in there watching a stop motion film. That's it's nothing more than that. And I, you know, don't want to be offensive, but you know, that that's what it is. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but you know, don't go in there expecting like something huge and incredible. You will get something incredible, but not huge. So, yeah, and it's actually very interesting that he's made this movie, Brooks has made this movie, and it's still like it's it's such a small movie. It's only like 40 minutes long. It's such a small movie. But in that time, he's made something so incredible. And I made, I had to write an essay on this actually for school. And it was that you don't need to make a long movie. A long movie doesn't equal a good movie. You need to take up as much time as you need and nothing more. And um, some movies abuse this power. You know, they're like, all right, well, you know, we need a little downtime. Sometimes you don't need downtime. And this movie perfectly represents that you don't need downtime because you're on the clock you're moving forward like take Zack Snyder's Justice League there is no time to just be calm they always need to be working and that's what's happening now granted it is four hours long but that's because we have uh three new characters I think three new characters I believe it's three uh three new characters well you know at the time it was three with Aquaman and stuff but you know we have three new characters that we have to cover their entire stories in this one movie you know so that way the fans can understand what the heck is happening. But, you know, in this film, it's only, you know, what, what was I even saying? Um, I'm doing this without a script, so just bear in mind. Um, but the movie is really, really good, I gotta say. Again, it's super well done. It's super well written. Um, the only downsides, again, are like how stop motion kind of limits you from adding so much emotion. Uh, another thing is there's like two counted, I counted, I counted two F-bombs, but I believe that there's one more, I'm not too sure, so just bear in mind, this is not a children's film, this is a very much, very much an adult film, um, that doesn't mean it's not good, it's super fun, it's super good, and honestly, one of these days, I would love to team up with Brooke, uh, and make, like, a live-action Batman film, because me and the guys, me and some of my team, uh, like, our, my film team, 
we are working on a live action film right now. I've already finished scripting it when we just have to wait a few weeks before uh, until after Christmas and then we're gonna start filming. So it's gonna be awesome and I would absolutely love to make a Batman film uh, because I have a Batman costume like I already ordered one and uh, wait did I order it? I think I ordered it. I don't know. I already have a Batman costume and it looks absolutely incredible and uh, yeah so we have that and i would absolutely again i would love to make a batman film but i would love to be i would love it to be based off of dark vengeance which was based off of the batman but you know just alter it just a bit so that way it doesn't feel super like you know it's you no know, so it feel like its own thing and you know a lot of stuff but again i absolutely love this movie some it's definitely up there in like my top 20 films like legitimately it is up there i must say my only downside is that when I was watching it, uh, the audio was a little off for me. So I'm not sure if that's like in the movie. I'm not sure if the audio is that kind of poor in the movie or if my headphones are just trash, but it kind of sounded a little foggy. But you know what? That's just me being me. Um, aside from that, I do give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. It is a super good film. It is 100% worth a watch. And... You guys really need to see it. One of the, you know, take your time, you know, do whatever the heck you need to do. But it premieres tomorrow or appear, premieres on the 24th, depending on when you're watching this. So give it a look. I'll link it in the description down below. And that is all that I have for you today. If you guys did indeed enjoy, please leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe. You don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it if you could. I'll see you guys later. Hey, fighters, and I'm out.